Hello and welcome back to this course on working capital management. Before we look into the individual aspects of working capital management, the components, how we manage the inventory, how do we manage the account receivable, cash or payables, we need to understand what are the metrics how by which we measure the working capital and what are the different type of policies that will determine what are the working capital needs of the company. So uh, let us dive into that and look at what are the operating cycle and cash cycle of the company. So the working capital uh, does work that uh, operating cycle means the average length of time between when a firm originally purchased its inventory and when it times it received the cash back from selling the product. So that's called operating cycle. It starts from the day when you purchase your inventory on the first time and then it uh, you sell it and then you are able to collect the money from your customers. So that is called the operating cycle. However, the cash cycle is a bit shorter time where we, it starts with when you pay for your customers to pay your suppliers the first time until the time that you have received the money from the uh, your customer so cash cycle is slightly shorter compared to the operating cycle and the difference is usually the day how uh, the day when you the day you take to pay to your supplier so if you look at it graphically um, the firm buy from the inventory and then the firm pays for the inventory and then the firm sell the product and then firm receive the payment so that whole thing is called um, accounting uh, operating cycle starting from the inventory until the account receivable and then sometimes uh, in the middle of the day in the middle of the time normally you have account payable so cash is out first and then cash is in so that is called cash cycle the whole thing is called operating cycle so operating cycle is generally longer cash cycle is generally shorter because uh, it's offset by the account receivable account payable timings so normally the companies are measuring how many days uh, of uh, cash they are able to how many uh, how many days it take for them to generate the cash for the company so that they can understand how many days of working capital they actually require and how much is it so let's take an example how you can record how you can convert it so cash conversion cycle basically is inventory days plus account receivable days minus account payable days that is um, the how we calculate the inventory days so inventory days is calculated by inventory divided by average co daily cost of goods sold average receivable days is calculated by every account receivable divided by average daily sales account payable is calculated by ac account payable divided by average daily cost of goods sold here average daily cost of goods sold or average daily sales is the total not just only the credit sale or not just only the well actually this uh, it should be the credit sale only because you are uh, collecting uh, you are paying actually account receivable days means your credit sale divided by the average receivable that will help us to understand how many days of sale is outstanding and how many days uh, usually it takes uh, how many days of credit sale is outstanding in the cash because cash you receive immediately anyways However, since the, the company, uh, the, the credit sale and cash sale ratio is not always the same, in order to maintain the consistency, we use total sales, average daily sales. So that there is a consistency and it takes care of the increasing component or decreasing component of credit sale to the total sales. So that is how, there, these are the formulas. Let us look at an example to explain the cash conversion cycle a little bit more. So you have this data from apple in 2015 um, the the data is in millions of dollars so their sale was 233 million dollar uh, cost of goods sold was 140 million dollar account receivable was 16 million dollars inventory was 2 million dollar account payable was 35 million dollars so our task is to convert calculate how much is the cash conversion cycle for apple so the first we do is we need to uh, understand the uh, uh, days number of inventory days so if we need to calculate inventory days we need to calculate account receivable days and account payable days to do that we need to calculate the every daily sales first so which we which we have calculated here 233 divided by 365 
average daily cost of sales the total sales then it's 383 and then we will be able to calculate the individual days so here is the individual days inventory days are uh, 6.12 account receivable is 26.31 account payable days is 92 i recommend you to do it by yourself in your calculator so that it's easy for you to understand otherwise it will become difficult right so uh, then we will do is we will uh, calculate inventory days plus account receivable days that is 6 plus 26 minus 92 so that is minus 60.04 now what is what does it signifies it signifies that apple has not invested any money into its working capital it's actually getting financed from the suppliers right because uh, that and that is evident from the total value here which you can see here that account uh, the company's investment into account receivable is 16 million inventory is 2 million but it get a financing of an accounting payable by 35 millions so uh, it shows that company has used its supplier money so it's able to convert the inventory much faster than it pays to your to pay to the uh, pay to the supplier and if you look at from the days how many days it takes it takes 92 days to pay the supplier so if you put that on the chart here uh, on the cash conversion cycle chart firm buys inventory it takes 90 days before they pay so account payable is much more but before 90 days it takes only six days from the date of purchase for the inventory to be used so it's it's create it's uh, doing the inventory super fast and then the collection is even faster collection days are only how many days it's about 26 days only so the inventory is turned very fast and then within 26 days uh, apple is able to receive its cash the so total 32 days but it pays the supplier in 92 days so means the supplier is waiting for the payment while the apple has already received the the inventory three times they have received three times of the three uh, three times before they pay to the supplier so they are actually uh, managing their working capital very well right now, it depends on the business model of the company how they have structured their business model how the apple is able to do this they are able to do this because they don't hold the inventory they ask the suppliers to hold the inventory right because they have assembly plants in china in india in taiwan and they are buying the material from them so it means they are not holding the inventory suppliers are holding the inventory for them right what they do is whenever they need it they just get it shipped to uh, their stores and then normally you will see in real life apple uh, they, there is a queue outside the apple stores and then it's sold immediately it doesn't take too much time account receivable days they definitely ideally apple is selling to the the telecom operators or to the third party stores they might be paying them a slightly with a delay so the average is only 26 days which is quite fast but they are not pay they are uh, they are because apple is a huge company and they have huge cash reserve they are uh, making uh, compromising with their suppliers to wait for 92 days which is fairly long time so that is called the cash conversion cycle i hope you learned it thank you very much